Hey everyone, it's Aragoda again. Uh, I had so much fun doing that round with California last time that I figured I would go for it right away again. So, let's do it. I will say, having reviewed my last video, um, <laughs> I should have known that I was in the wrong county like immediately. So it's kind of interesting learning how to balance um, my attention with narrating and talking. Um, I didn't realize I had so much trouble with it, but you know, such is such is the life of someone who makes videos like this. So it's a it's a point of growth. Now, with regards to where we are right now, um, this this doesn't look. It doesn't look like California to me, so I'm I'm really curious as to what it'll look like to have um, the right cue that will tell me where we are. I mean, that palm tree is certainly there, uh, <laughs> uh, which in any other situation for like the typical U.S. state stuff would would inform to me that you know we are indeed in California. Here we go. Okay. Oh, Yuba City and Princeton. Okay. So. Um, all right, so this is Northern California. It's just north of um, it's just north of the Sacramento area. Uh, Yuba City is right there. Um, I'm not too familiar with where Princeton is, but I'm assuming it's in either the same county or the neighboring county. Yeah, you have Beale Air Force Base over here, which is the the main feature of note. So it looks like over here you have a split between California Route 45 and California Route 20. We have 20 here, 45 is over here. So um, what that tells me is that this is where we currently are, east of Yuba City. Yeah, that makes sense. So if we go back to the start, um, let's see, which way did we find out here? Uh, I wasn't paying attention to this because I was busy talking about how hard it is to pay attention while narrating. So <laughs> I'm going to assume that, you know, we were down here somewhere. Um, so we moved through this region. And uh, I should have should have looked at the street names. I still can. So here we have Clay Street and 8th Street. So if we're down in this region here, I don't know how far down south we could have gone. Um, or well, maybe we were in the town of Meridian. Is there an 8th Street in Meridian? No, there's not. It doesn't make sense anyway, because we came up what clearly was Route 45, right? Uh, because you were turning right here. No, 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 no. Hold on. It said turn right to 20 towards Yuba City, or turn left. But I'm confused, because... Oh, we're in Calusa. Here we go. Okay. All right. So we're we're somewhere in here, somewhere. So eighth and clay. Eighth, and clay. Okay. So back to start. Eighth and clay to the north. Of the intersection by a touch. So I would put us right here. How'd it go? Oh! Seventh? Okay, well, um, that's fine. Almost a perfect score. Um, alrighty. This, this looks like it could be Santa Barbara, like uh, the Santa Ynez Valley area. Um, well, let's see, what are the directions of the mountain ranges here? I guess it's tough to tell. Um, I guess I'll go in this direction. So, uh, yeah, this is actually, if it is the Santa Ynez Valley, then it's actually the, the wine country that everyone forgets about because people think of Napa up in the north. But uh, there are all of these wineries to the north of Los Angeles, I guess northwest of Los Angeles, that are just readily available in there. Central California is is a hidden gem. I will say that much. Um, and there is there is so much 
that uh, there's so much that is in between the big cities that, you know, folks in the big cities are, you know, so easy to forget. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's, that's what I'm thinking here. Um, we'll sort of keep going and we'll see. Um, it's, wow. So some of these woods look a bit charred. It's possible that this is a, a relatively recent burn scar for a wildfire. Um, a perpetual fact of life of being a Californian. Welcome to Happy Camp, Klamath River steelhead capital of the world. Okay, um, I was I was wrong. It is not all the way in the south, because the Klamath Falls area is in Oregon. So this might put us in Modoc County, or it might put us, um, you see Lower Klamath National Wildlife Reserve. So welcome to Happy Camp. Is there a place called Happy Camp in this area? There might not be. Um, or it might not resolve on, on Google Maps. So um, that's a possibility. But I'm inclined to think Modoc County area or uh, Siskiyou County. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, that's just the next one over. Where there's a city, a city called Weed. So, uh, and I think that um, the city of Weed might actually be on like the freeway headers, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Um, we might have some better luck if we identify like a call box or something. Um, well, okay, I'm gonna keep going, going north. And we'll see where we go from here. Um, well, what's up with that? So I have heard of people doing something like this up in Nunavut here in Canada, where um, they uh, it's so expensive to order things a la carte that a whole bunch of folks will just they'll just get together, and then they will order a uh, they will order a whole bunch of goods from the provinces um, and uh, it'll come in a shipping container but they have to keep they have to keep the shipping container oh yeah this is totally a burn scar for wildfire which uh, like I wonder if you see how the the woods are all cut here so uh, I mean I'm sort of spitballing here but I think this might have been a fire break that was cut by um, the firefighters so that the fire wouldn't jump the road um, so that's, that's interesting. Um, everywhere, everywhere, the signs of how everything's falling apart from a climate angle, at least, <laughs> um, those, those wildfires didn't used to be so common. Uh, it does remind me of how just like hellish it all felt in 2020, you know, like not just with how disruptive the pandemic was, but, uh, there were. There was like a, there was a, a long period of time in the middle of the summer where the wildfires were so consistent in the Los Angeles area, in the LA basin, that um, you just didn't really see the sun for a really long time. It was just weirdly cold, you know, you had ash falling like snow and fouling the air. Um, and then you had uh, a lot of the unrest tied to the arrest of George Floyd, or no, not the arrest, the death of George Floyd. Um, I'm not sure this is going to take us anywhere useful. I wish we had a name for this road, but um, I, I don't think that this is like a signed highway or anything. It might just be like a road with like some name. Um, let's see here. Yeah, it all just felt really, uh, it was really disorienting <laughs> to, to, to be in LA at that time, you would see like, it, it wasn't like this where I was, but you could see pictures of the city um, that were, uh, where it looked apocalyptic. Uh, the billowing clouds over Orange County were like red, you know, on top of everything else that was happening, um, that it was just, it really did feel like the end of the world. Um, but you know, that's not how, the world doesn't end like a movie. It just, uh, it oozes and it bleeds. And um, 
I'm just gonna like put it down here. It oozes and it bleeds and and things change, sometimes for the better, sometimes for the worse. Um, oh. There was a town called Happy Camp. Okay, so the Klamath River goes all the way over to the west. I didn't know that. And so it goes. Sorry not to be a big downer about it all. Um, yeah, I don't know. I might not be the biggest fan of California. <laughs> when it comes to stuff like that, I just feel like um, I feel like it's easier, the precarity is more tangible than it used to be. Um, but, you know, that doesn't, that doesn't stop humans from finding a way to, to adapt and embrace to their situation and, and embrace their situation. Um, so what this reminds me of, and I don't think this might not be it, but this looks a lot like, uh, San Diego. Um, like right at the border with the Playa de Tijuana. Um, the beaches do look like this, but the things that kind of make me pause are the mountains back here and the way that they're oriented, this kind of east-west spin, which makes me think that um, it's in central California. Uh, so let's see. But that doesn't. Oh no. Let's see here. Beach Street View. So interesting. We'll keep puttering along. Like, I mean, you see these kinds of coastal. What does that say? Area closed. I mean, what can I do but continue to stroll along this beach? It is, you know, and this is something that, in spite of, you know, all the stuff that I say about it, these are things like, you know, that make California so memorable and so worthwhile. You get to see places like this and places that are subtly different, but they are there for you um, to discover. There's, there's always something new to discover and to see. Um, and uh, and now we can walk in a swamp. <laughs> I, I want to see if I could get over to the city here. Like, who was just climbing on these ice plants? You know, that's, that's so funny. I guess there was a trail. You know, I can't give him too much crap. Um, let's see. And I guess they're, they're, all, all we can do is to continue hiking. And now we're back at the road. I think, hopefully, we can make it up this wash. Just, oh, we have a name of the beach. Why is it blurred? I don't understand. It's so strange. Okay, well, let's see if we can go up this road into the city. Will you let me go into the city? No. Yeah, this is weird. Okay, maybe we'll be unlucky if we continue following the trail on the inland on this bluff here. Or, I don't think it's a bluff, but like on the back of this berm. You know, just a sign. It's interesting that like, you can even stroll on beaches in street view like this. Um, okay. Can I go back up here? Never miss a sunset. That's... Well, I mean, if I had seen that alone, I'd been like, okay, you know, this is California. Because <laughs> that's, that's such like a Californian mentality. You know, even when things get rough, even when the traffic gets you down or whatever in LA, it's like I could always... It, 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 you could always look out and appreciate what it means to be there. I guess it is a bluff. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. Oh, we're just done. There's nowhere else for us to go. That's so nuts. Okay, well, you know, here's what I'm going to do. You know, I'm going to zoom in. 
I feel like the fact that we see east-west mountains is going to put us here. It's going to put us in the transverse ranges. So I'm going to assume that this jutting out point here is going to be point conception, I think that's what it's called. And we're, yep, point conception. And we're, we're going to be somewhere, eh, somewhere along here. So I'm going to put us in Gaviota. Let's see how right I am. <laughs> it was Half Moon Bay? Oh, it was Half Moon Bay. I've actually, I've actually walked, I, I've walked right here. Like, I have walked on this beach. And I had it in the back of my head that it could have been Half Moon Bay. But, you know, and so it goes. Oh, I'm getting wiped on this round. That's fine. Okay, so, um, what is around us? It looks like, uh, Imperial County to me. Uh, County Refuse Disposal Area. Yeah, so like the Salton Sea, which is really, to me, one of the most interesting parts of California you could possibly go to. It's not a part anyone really thinks of. Um, it's, there's a, there's a place called the, the Chocolate Mountains. This might actually, no, I have literally been on this road. Okay, I know where we are. Yeah. Um, it, it were, this is actually the road to the very place I was talking about. Um, Slab City. Which is, um, a bunch of people in Nyland here, uh, they basically moved here to live off grid and you just have a bunch of these like RVs and stuff. You have this Salvation Mountain, which is like, uh, <laughs> some, some dude had a vision to paint plaster over a mountain and put Bible verses all over it and stick a huge cross on the top. And then you have East Jesus because, uh, it's in the middle of nowhere. It's, it's on, it, it's like some kind of old school phrase, but basically this is like a naval, a naval bombing range. And folks are just like living in like the craters left by the bombs. And there it's, it's like a hyper libertarian kind of settlement. Um, yeah, this is like, frankly, one of the most interesting places I think you could see in Southern California, because it's, you see what it's like for people to be, uh, when people don't fit, um, they, they find a way to fit. And California is, it's a society that, uh, that forces you to decide, um, who you are, I feel. It forces you to, uh, to accept or reject, um, the implications of what it means to live in a state like that, to, to accept or reject the identity of, of what it means to, to be in that place. Uh, I don't really know what I'm saying. I, I feel like maybe I'm reaching, maybe I'm saying nonsense. Maybe I'm reaching for something that isn't there. That says Mendocino County, I think. I don't know if there are any other counties that end with, there's San Mateo County, I guess. Okay, so um, I guess all I'm trying to say is it makes sense. You know, like you, it makes sense that the, that you have like, that East Jesus in particular is so interesting because you have folks who, um, <laughs> there's a guy over there who, when he gives you the tour, it's like a huge, just like junkyard that's been turned into, um, like an art installation by the folks who are living there. Uh, and the guy who gives you the tour calls it, um, uh, the, he calls it, uh, the workplace for the work ethic impaired or something like that. And you have like this crazy swing that's made of trash and there's a house with a bunch of dead fish bones nailed into it because the Salton Sea is right there. And the Salton Sea is like the nastiest place in the entire state. Um, it always smells like death. Uh, and uh, you have these crazy algae blooms that kill all the fish and they wash up onto the beaches. And then there's some beaches, like there's one called Bombay Beach, where like the beach is just made of fish bones that like died because the lake just got so inhospitable to life. So the last time I was there, the, the lake was probably experiencing an algae bloom. It was red. 
Um, and it was made by accident after like an aquifer broke like it's levy or something. Portola. Okay, so we saw Mendocino, potentially. Portola, I think, is in Mendocino County. So we'll go up here. Where is Portola? If Portola is indeed here. So we have Ukiah. Well, it's Mendocino. You know, maybe maybe that's not enough to go on. So let's let's keep moving around. Portola might well, maybe it's in San Mateo County, which is over here, which would also make sense. I mean, it's super hilly. Portola Valley. Okay, maybe it's San Mateo County. So we saw Portola Elementary School, I think. So. So where is it? Um, where is... Wait, I could just look at street names. Amador. Amador and Lake is where we currently are. Amador. Amador and Lake. Hmm. I guess it's not so easy. <laughs> it doesn't help that it's not gridded up here. I mean, just by virtue of the geography and um, and all that. So I think, oh yeah, look at that. You can see the bay behind you, just like that. Yeah, this is a, if I recall, this is a, a very expensive neighborhood to live in. Um, as it, you know, I guess you could say that of anywhere in the Bay Area, and you would be correct nowadays. But uh, I'm going to go back to where we started. Okay, so we're on a big road. This might be like Portola Parkway or something. So let's see if we can get the road names. No. Oh, that's so weird. Okay. Can I get the road names here? Sneath. Sneath Lane. I'll give myself a limit of five minutes. But I'm going to assume we're in Portola Valley. Or at least in this part of... Uh, or at least in this part of the Bay Area. Sneath Lane. I'm going to assume that big road is one of the ones that goes to a freeway. So we have Amador Road turning off from there somewhere. There's Patola Road here. I think Westridge goes up to the freeway, doesn't. Okay. Sand Hill Road goes to the freeway. Yeah, that's all right. It ain't worth it. Let's just finish the guess and keep going. You know, it's funny. So you see this straight line here, and you have like the lakes along that line and Interstate 280. So the reason this looks like that, yeah, I guess we're in San Bruno. At least I'm in the right county. But um, the reason the lake looks like this, uh, why the lakes look like that, is because this is actually the pathway of the San Andreas Fault. And uh, it's a strike slip fault. And what happens, which means it moves things sort of laterally instead of like up and down. And sometimes those faults will like step over. Like you'll have one strand over here of the fault and maybe like another one on the back side or whatever. And based on how it moves, it'll actually make a little depression along the fault that becomes a lake. So this is, you know, that's the San Andreas fault. Um, and you can see like these weirdly linear features all over California um, that uh, are linear because of strikes of faults. Uh, so, you know, this, this goes all the way, all the way down to LA, uh, well, north of LA. And it cuts behind it towards um, Imperial Valley, where we were. Uh, and then that's where it changes to something else. But yeah, no, oh, just kind of funny. So like, where in San Bruno is this? Sneath Lane. Okay, well, now I know. <laughs> Alrighty.
there's the results. It ain't great, but uh, that's okay. Um, I love that it took me to places that I've been. I think that was really wild. But uh, I guess I'll just call the video here. Thanks for watching, and uh, until next time.